more, we're joined by Karim Bakawi from Bakawi Management Consultants. And uh, first of all, I would like to know, would you take on uh, this logistics situation in Duisburg? Is there anything that you'd say they could do much better? Well, first of all, I must say that uh, extending their logistics services to do uh, things like cleaning cars is an excellent idea. And uh, a lot of other logistics companies have done that in the past and are continuing doing that, uh, which is a trend that we see in the market, uh, which they call contract logistics, where they take on more and more activities like assembly, call center uh, operation. Uh, so I think it's a good idea, and uh, I see this uh, coming in the future. So they're creating synergies which is obviously something uh, that you probably advise them to do as well, if they'd call you. Absolutely, because they will do the similar kind of services for different companies, different industries, and thereby creating, as you said, synergies, uh, and thereby reducing costs. Now, you work for a lot of global players. Uh, you advise a lot of companies, also in the so-called BRIC countries, the BRIC states. Um, is there a certain pattern where you would say this kind of advice works for all of them, or is it very individual? How does it work? Well, first of all, if you go by industry, it is different. Uh, as you see that some industries are, are doing quite well these days, uh, and they are uh, in the process of optimizing their existing structures, whereas other, other industries like uh, machinery and the automotive industry are obviously uh, trying to radically change things and uh, putting up turnaround programs. As, as you get to different countries, uh, you have still growing countries like India and China. Uh, they're working on their basic infrastructure needs, uh, uh, whereas in other countries, more developed countries, uh, a lot of infrastructure is there and they're just optimizing processes. Now, uh, let's stick to this uh, radicalization of turnaround, which very often is synonymous with cost cutting, and that again is very often synonymous with cutting jobs. Is that really the only way to consolidate a company? Well, it's certainly a feature of uh, cost-cutting programs, but uh, typically logistics, what we do first is to avoid transportation, uh, to increase the fill rate of certain carriers, uh, to look at ways of collaborating amongst different companies and industries. So, uh, yes, job cutting is one initiative, but uh, it's not the biggest lever, and we promote to start looking at other things before we get to that point. Well, cost cutting uh, or cutting jobs, actually, it is a measure that a lot of companies have uh, taken up. Uh, we actually have uh, prepared some sort of graphic in order to see what happened to jobs since the, the economic uh, slowdown has started in the U.S., where the crisis obviously started started earlier, 67% of the companies surveyed have already laid off workers, some 43% are still planning to cut jobs. Here in Western Europe, so far 42% of the companies asked have also cut staff and 52% are still planning to do so. Now the German Employers Association, they suggest that people should basically accept lower wages uh, in order to solve the problem. Would you accept that? Well, I would say that this is at least one of the very, very last initiatives that I would take, um, especially in, in, in our industry in logistics. There are so many different ways of, of optimizing cost, uh, optimizing processes, putting new IT systems in place. So uh, I would only accept this measure as the very last measure and would uh, encourage uh, all uh, management of a company to ensure that every other potential is exploited. Karim Bakabi, thank you very much for joining us.